Hey loves, I just want to get out here for my new subscribers because I do have some subscribers. Yay, I want to get out here and I want to tell you guys, um, I'm trying to make sure my hair look cute for a second. Uh, I had it cute. Okay, um, I want to get out here and tell you guys, um, those are new to my channel. I don't know if you guys looked at my content for real. Um... Yes, I have a learning disability, and before you guys um, start getting like, ooh, like judgmental, which I hope you guys are not, um, it's comprehension and understanding. No, you cannot get it. No, it's not going to happen to you, so you don't need to worry about it. It happens to me, and the reason why it happened to me is because I was given salt water at two months old. I did not know anything about it. Um... The person who gave it to me was my mom. She um she was sick at the time being she didn't know. So don't get on here saying, Oh, she should have known because you was a baby. Woo -woo -woo -woo. No. She didn't know. She was sick herself. She didn't know. She thought she was doing the right thing. She wasn't doing the right thing. People make mistakes. She actually gave it gave the bottle to my other sister and told her to feed it to me. They fed it to me. And I was rushed to the hospital at two months old. They said I was on my deathbed. My whole entire family prayed over me so I wouldn't, you know, pass away. Um, and it worked. Uh, I stand here now, um, alive, healthy, and well. It's just that I don't understand certain situations and things or whatever, but I'm very smart. I know how to read, write, um, I know how to spell, I know right from wrong. It's just that some stuff, it takes time for me to understand. Um, I had to learn a preamble in high, in grammar school, I'm thinking high school, in grammar school. In order to know that you had to, um, you had to, um, I mean, you had to go to high school. You was able to go to high school once you knew it. So I still know I'm going to say it for you guys. I don't have the book around me. It's not no book around me, but I'm going to say it for you guys so you guys see I still know about heart. And the reason why I know this by heart is because of my uncle. He died, which I call my dad. He passed away. So I'm going to say it. We the people of the United States in order to form a more perfect union, a more perfect union and stop his instructions. Uh, we the people of the United States in order to form a more perfect union and stop it just to ensure domestic security, provide for the common defense, promote the judicial welfare and security plus liberty to our suffering our prosperity, do ordain this do ordain this do ordain this uh wait, 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 I can start over because I know it. We the people of the United States in order to form a more perfect union and stop it just to ensure domestic security, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare secure our blessings of liberty to our stuff and our prosperity do ordain this constitution for the United States of America. So I know that was because of my um uncle he told he told me to say that preamble I had to know in order to graduate and go off to high school. Knowing that I had a disbelief was hard, um, because it made me lose all my friends. I remember a time sitting in class and I had made a bunch of friends then, and this lady, she walked in and was like, oh, I'm looking for, you know, I'm looking for Miss Shaw, and my teacher was in the classroom, and she was like, oh, she's right here. She goes on, the lady goes on to say, like, I'm here to talk about her disability, imagine, nobody in the school knew I had one, because I always hit it a lot. So they never knew I had one. So when they found out, they was just like, oh, we don't like you. Oh, they would never sit next to me at the table. At lunchtime, they would sit next to me at the table. I was, like, really sad, and I really cried a lot because I'm like, I can't believe, you know, you told my business now. I don't have no friends no more. Now no one likes me anymore, and this is why I would never speak on it again, like, I hate the fact that this even happened to me. And it's still, even though it's old, it still kind of like somewhat bothers me that that happened. At the end of the day, she's like, I'm so sorry. 
I'm like, it's nothing you can say that affects this. Like, they're going to bully me for the rest of my life, and it's all your fault. You let them know I learned this week, and I specifically told you I didn't want them to know anything like that about me because I would lose out on friends like that. You knew that. She knew everybody was in the, she knew everybody was cool with me in the classroom for so far to say that. It was just like, dang, like, they kept talking about it. They made a whole joke about it and everything. They was like, uh-huh, you slow. And then they said LD, which means, like, it's really, um, they said I'm with the local dummies. So they wouldn't let me be a part of nothing they had going on. They was like, oh, you can't be with us. You're a lame. You're not a read. Re- you're not a read. Spell none of that. And I could do the things, but they never gave me a chance to. And it really affected me because it was just like, y'all not even give me a chance to, you know what I'm saying, prove to y'all that I can not read, prove to y'all that I can not spell. Y'all judging me and don't even know the real story behind none of this. I didn't know I had to go on. My mom, rest in peace, her soul. My real, my real mom, rest in peace, her soul. You know, I hope that she's okay. But she was like really hurt. She was like, I didn't mean to hurt her in any way. I didn't know. Like she cried so many times. But I told her, like, Mom, I'm not mad at you. Don't feel like I'm mad at you. At the end of the day, I'm still living. I could be a testimony for someone else, and I and I hope that she know that I'm not upset with her. Yeah, sometimes I sit back and I cry, but but at the end of the day, I love my mom with all my heart, and I wish that she that she was still living so I could tell her like I'm not mad at you. I told her plenty of times, but I still felt like she still felt like I was mad at her. Like I kept telling her like Mom, I love you. I would never, you know be mad at you i still learn i can still learn it's just gonna take me a lot of time to learn but i still love you at the end of the day you gave me life you had me i'm your kid i came from god you know i would never you know be mad at you for this but at the end of the day all i can do is learn from this and you know spread my journey you know tell people what i endured in life because a lot of people they don't know that i that i deal with this on daily they don't know that i have learned this but because i don't talk about it as much i don't want i want people to accept me as a child growing up i've always wanted to be accepted i've always wanted to be liked i've always wanted to have a boyfriend i've always wanted to do different things and i was like no guy's not gonna want me because i have a disability whole time a dude did want to talk to me whether i had that or not he still wanted to to talk to me i did have a boyfriend in high school like and i told him so it was like you know he was cool with it but at the end of the day i still felt some kind of way because i was like i really told him my business i don't know if he's gonna look at me different i don't know if he's gonna judge me for it i just don't know and i kept crying to god about i was like but why I get, I understand why I have it here. I understand why it's here. My my other auntie, she know the full story. She's there when it all happened. I might try to like, I don't know if she'd be okay with getting in the camera, but I might try to like do a podcast with her and we could sit down and we could talk about it. Like just me and her, um, we sit down and we talk about what actually really happened to me because she could tell she know the full story, but you know, I don't really know the full story for her because I was a baby and I really don't know what happened. I know a little bit, but she know a lot because she was there and she was like, my niece will live through this. Like, she would be okay. We're going to help her every step of the way. So, she helps me with whatever I need. Like, she know I need help with my money. I have trouble with that. I try to, I make sure I study my money every day. Um, You know, I just try to do what I need to do because at the end of the day I don't want to not learn that stuff it's just hard for me to understand it and I look at other people's life and I'll be like well I wish I had they life because they they don't have problems with money they can count money but me on the other hand I can't count it and that really it really bothers me like I know y'all don't I know y'all don't see me crying in front of social media but when this camera go off, I really do will like be crying because I never thought that I would have to live with disability. I never thought that I would have to deal with nothing like that. But at the end of the day, 
it made me a better woman. Like, yeah, it's here, but I'm learning how to deal with it. I just hope if I have kids or something, they don't have to go through this. This is the worst thing that I could ever go through in life. Like, and thank God, really thank God for real. Um, I don't have family that treat me like I have it, but at the end of the day, it's here. And, do, you know, I can't get rid of it, but I deal with it on a daily. Like, I, I have no choice but to deal with it. I wake up, I praise God. I wake up as a regular person. But some days, it do get the best of me. Some days, I'm in crying. I'm questioning God, like, why, why, why? God, like, you wasn't meant to fit in with them people that that um, told you they couldn't be your friend. You're not meant to fit in with them. Stop crying about them. They're not meant for your life. Don't cry over spoiled milk. What Scissor say, Saza, whatever her name is, Scissor, promise I won't cry over spoiled milk, period. Like, why you bother me when you know you don't want me? <laughs> okay? Why you bother me when you know you got a woman? Period. If you, if you can't deal with the fact I have this really and you don't want to be my friend or nothing to me in life, don't come talk to me there because I'm not going to hide my disability for the world, from the world just to make it seem like I, it's not here when it is here. At the end of the day, people going to talk about you today, you dad. They talked about Jesus Christ. At the end of the day, they need Jesus Christ. They need him. They call on this man every day. But they talked about him as you. They talked about him. They beat him like he was nothing. They beat him. Jesus like he was nothing, like he didn't matter. They beat him so bad, he could barely stand up. And now they need him. Now they need him. Now, oh, oh, I miss Jesus. I need Jesus. I need, now you need him. But you hated him and all this mess and, you know, just being awful to him. But he died for your sins. He always help you he helps you whenever you need his help and you treated that man like he was nothing and he still help you at the end of the day he still here he still help you he still forgive you for everything you do regardless about what you do jesus forgives all the time and whom god he forgives too but i'm just saying like i said all that to say is you don't just because I have a disability don't mean I can't do the things you do. It's just going to take time for me to do them. Like, like I said, counting my money. It's going to take time for me to count my money. Learning the street signs outside is going to take time for me to learn that type of stuff. That don't mean I can't learn it. That don't mean that it's something wrong with me because I don't know it and I should be ashamed of myself. No. I'm pretty sure stuff that you should know how to do that you don't know how to do. So why judge me on something that I don't know how to do? You feel me? Like don't don't judge me on what I can't do. I'm gonna get it one day. I know I will. So stop judging people for what they can't do and just be happy that they're alive. I could have been dead and gone. It wouldn't be no pretty nightly. It wouldn't be me here to uplift y'all, me here to say anything to y'all, because I would have been in my grave site, dead, literally. So, y'all wouldn't even got a chance to even see me at all. I wouldn't even be a content creator. I wouldn't be nothing because I would be dead. But God saw the best in me, and he let me live. So, if you know somebody with special needs, or they didn't ask to have that, don't ever judge them. Let them fit in with you. They want to be just like you. They want to do the things you do. My sister, for example, Taylor, even though she's going through her thing right now, she still can do more than me. She's still able to get out the house. She's still able to count her money. I can't do that stuff. Am I jealous of her? No, I'm not. But at the end of the day, I wish I had a life like hers. I wish I can you know, go out here and do stuff. I be wanting to leave the house sometimes, but I'm so scared to leave my house. It's like, it's so much stuff that goes out. I don't want to end up on the news. I don't want to end up missing. I don't want none of that to happen. My mom, she 
you know, was so overprotective since that was going on. My other mom, which is my auntie, I call her my mom, she was so protective of me growing up. So it was just like, you know, I was always, you know, scared to do certain things, but she held me back from doing so many things in life when I tried to, you know, go outside. She didn't want me to go outside. When I tried to, like, do certain things, she didn't want me to do certain things because she was scared for me. She babied me a lot. She didn't want nothing to happen to me, which I understand, but at the end of the day, she has to let me go. She has to let me be a woman. You know, I get she's scared. I get it's bad people out here, but at the end of the day, I told her, like, I'm okay. I'm protected by God. God is not going to let anyone hurt me. God is not going to let anything happen to me at the end of the day. I'm good. You know, I'm not trying to make this vlog long. Um, I know y'all probably tired or something like that. But let me know if you guys want a part two. I'm going to end it here. But I'm just saying, like, I have special needs. I really do. I know I joke a lot on here, but I really have special needs. Okay? So, don't judge me. And don't don't unsubscribe from my content because you, you think, like, oh, this girl's slow. She don't know anything. No, I'm not. I'm a very actually actually nice person. So don't look at please don't look at me different. And if you watched all the way to the end of this vlog, leave down any emoji that lets me know that you watched all the way to the end of this vlog and that you accept me for me. Um Yeah, I'ma end it here. Bye loves.